Geleceğe doğru doğru adım. İstanbul Medipol Üniversitesi. Hello dear international students and thank you so much for tuning in again to our very special Q&A live event. Today we are back with an, such an interesting guest and I would like to introduce you to the Vice Dean of School of Business, Professor Dr. Gökhan Silataoğlu. Nice to meet you and thank you so much for taking your time. How thank are you? Thank you. Fine, how are you doing? I'm also great, thank you so much. Okay, then let's move to the first question. In uh, which department does our School of Business um, provide education? Could you maybe share some information about the quota and the curriculum, please? Okay, uh, we have got uh, double programs, both in English and Turkish. For example, Business Administration is one program, uh, Economics and Finance is another program. These programs are Uh, are offered in English. That means the te medium of teaching is English. And we also have got some programs that both English and Turkish, they are management information system department, I'm the head of the department at the same time, logistics management, international trade and finance. We also have got programs in which the medium of teaching is Turkish. These are banking and insurance, human resources management. They only Turkish programs, the others are both Turkish or English or completely English programs. Uh, you ask quotas, they are ranging from 30 to 70. The maximum number of seats that we can offer is in management information systems mm -hmm. in English program are 70. In uh, other programs, human resources for example, 30. It changes and we've got plenty of elective courses to offer our students. So. I can say that uh, students have to take 12 um, courses, elective courses, besides the compulsory ones. Mm -hmm. But we don't have 12 courses. We've got approximately 100 elective courses in the faculty, so students have got a chance to cross-educate themselves, picking up some uh, elective courses from different departments, but must be minimum 12, there is no upper limit for this one. Mm, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. And following your answer, you already uh, said so uh, amazing points. Mm -hmm. What would you say are advantages of studying ec uh, economy, finance, business or trade in Istanbul and especially at our university? Uh, yeah, Istanbul is a great city. But first of all, looking from internationalist uh, perspective and for students, it is cost effective. It may be cheap for international students, you know. It's, I can say it's most affordable, not city, metropolitan cities. If you think like that, if it's a metropolitan, it's not a small city. Uh, it's in the world, it's the most affordable one, with the Turkish lira being an affordable currency. That's an important uh, factor. And students, including our international students, are entitled to student discounts in many places in public transport, in museum, even some restaurants uh, give them discounts. They should try their luck on for this kind of things. And it's not a big city, but it is well connected, cosmopolitan, I can say, P public transport wise. Uh, thanks to Istanbul, being shared by the DSA Metropolitan uh, Municipality of Istanbul, it's really well connected uh, these days. We have got 10 metro lines and they are connected and we also have got one under sea train it connects asia to europe it's amazing you know yeah. in two minutes you change your continent from asia to uh, europe or from europe to asia mm -hmm. and for for something like two pence so 20 pence it's three liras or something like that for stu students and there is a huge diversity in Istanbul. It's an advantage. Students who live and study in Istanbul, um, not for Medipol, I'm not talking about Medipol, for Istanbul only, they will be able to meet different cultures. They will learn a lot from different cultures. Uh, people come here for better living from different parts of Turkey, uh, for education, for employment. It is the same. Internationals come to Turkey from Asia, Europe, Europe, other countries, uh, so they will have a chance to meet different people. At the same time, there are 50 universities in Istanbul. It's a student city. 
So they will meet different people here and they will make good friendships. Also, uh, for Istanbul, I can say there are festivals and con concerts in Istanbul. Uh, frequent festivals occurring throughout the year, such as private university uh, festivals. We also organize some festivals, but due to the pandemic for the last two years, we haven't done anything. Turkish music festivals, Istanbul music festivals, any other holy festivals, Halloweens, and you know, uh, they attract many people mm. from outside Istanbul and they can enjoy these concert festivals at an affordable uh, prices. So it's a good advantage to be in Istanbul besides studying at a university. So. That's right, like mm. the points you've listed mm. make you like, I want to study in Istanbul right away. Yeah. So, such amazing points. And uh, now moving on to our first questions. Um, there is an interesting program called Hybrid Program. Mm -hmm. Could you explain us exactly what uh, it is about? The hybrid, when, when you say a hybrid program, actually, uh, it's essentially a college program that combines elements of online learning and traditional face-to-face -face learning. But what I understand, I mean, in Turkey, when they say hybrid, they don't understand this one. They understand new programs like management information systems or uh, logistic management, human resources. In the past, we had two uh, departments, main departments, business administration and finance or economy. Today, we have created, not we, I want to say we scholars all over the world, uh, formed new departments such as logistics management, management information systems. But in my opinion, you don't make a program, you don't build a program. The program gets born, it comes alive. Some 30 years ago, we didn't have management information system department. And then when they asked me what, is, what kind of program it is, I said, yeah, half business, half computer science, and put them together, blend them, as they call it hybrid or blended, and it will become a new program. It was a new program, but this is a fact right now. When you go to the sector, they ask you, have you studied management information systems? This is the same for logistics management. It's, it was born from business administration, but it's a reality. Uh, so you get uh, on the spot things. You learn the things that you will really need it instead of uh, pussyfooting around. Yes, yeah. that's true. Thank you so much for explaining it in the, such you. details. And um, now, last semester, you announced that there's an internship period. Yes. And um, could you exactly maybe tell us what was the reason behind the announcement and what advantages come with an internship period? Uh, well, uh, for the last, um, since the beginning mm. of our faculty, we are using that system. So an internship, if I define it, people know it, but they may confuse it with something else, I will say, is a period of work experience. Mm. But it is mostly uh, confused with, um, what is it, uh, workplace uh, study or, yeah, work placements, but uh, yeah, internship or work placement. Internship mm. may start from one week to 12 months. Work placements for the last year of the school and it is for one year, 12 months. Our internship program is again blended. It is for three and a half months, mm -hmm. you can say three months depending on the study or depending on the organization sector and the student, let's say three months, but it's half internship because it's not in summer and it's half work placement and because you, we give students credit for this one. Also, uh, some students may be exempted from work placement or internship if they have worked or working in a relevant sector. Right. For example, if you are working at Human Resources Department and at the same time studying this one, you, you will be exempted from doing this one. Or if you want, you can always do it. International uh, companies are also accepted. You don't have to do it in Istanbul. You may do it in Ankara, Adana or in Berlin, for example. 
doesn't matter. Yeah. All of them are welcome for us, you can say. Right, so it's a uh, very good opportunity for the students to get some experience, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, thank you. Now, sadly, our last question. And I would like to ask you, what is the situation in your department regarding the opportunities such as internal transfers, major programs, masters and Erasmus that the students benefit from while their education continues? Ah, oh, yeah. Many students change programs during their study for many reasons. Oh, you may decide on different career path or interest, or your program may not be what you thought it would be. You may, you may think like that. Perhaps you want a second try at getting into a program. So there are many reasons for this one. Uh, you can even add a program to your current study load. So in medieval university, it's possible. You may have double majors, that means double degrees, two diplomas equivalent to each other. One of them be management information systems, the other may be logistics management, or economics or business administration. But there are some terms and conditions and exceptions. There are some rules. I mean, don't think that anybody who steps in the university or enrolls university automatically will have double degree. No, we don't, we don't offer this one. You can start for, uh, by the first, the second semester, I think. And, but you need to have some you know, GPA level. You shouldn't have any failed classes, etc. To be able to continue your double degree study, you need to keep your GPA at certain level. And I said, yeah, there are some T's and C's and uh, exceptions. That's it. But it's possible. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. And I also, think... thank you so much for taking your time, answering all of our questions and sharing your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And also, thank you so much, our dear international students, for tuning in again. I hope you had such a great time as I did. And see you again tomorrow with another guest.